What's up everybody, Flims of Video here, playing more Outer Wilds, not Outer Worlds. It's never gonna happen. You keep waiting for me to make that mistake and it's never gonna happen. I've got a plan, but it requires, well it doesn't require, but it might be helpful to get some promptness in here. So I'll just explain the plan because I keep trying to be really secretive about my plans and then uh, the plans don't work and then it's really embarrassing because it looks like I've was just doing stuff for no reason. When in fact, I'm usually being very smart, just not smart in the way that the game wants. What I'm gonna do is, oh, do I need my suit to have my probe launcher? Yeah, okay. We're wasting valuable time. I don't think it's actually gonna be that. Um, ungenerous. What we're gonna do is we are gonna shoot a uh, scout through this again. No. Look at her, look, look, look at, look at her go. Whee! It is gonna land in the mouth, right? Okay, there it goes. Okay. So I want to put that there just in case because my first idea was just keep exploring Feldspar's um, house. That's what we're gonna call it. But, there is something I want to check. And if this idea ends up being nothing, then I will just check Feldspar's house, which I'm probably going to do in either case. But I remember, slash, I, we saw on the log, so that helped me remember, that Sorry, I'm focusing on, on, in on velocities here when we start pulling it back here. I remember that there was a bramble thing on Giant's Deep. I don't know if there was a whole seed or if there were just some of the thorns. If it's just some of the thorns, then this isn't gonna help me that much. But there's a chance that there's also a seed in there. And if I can put my scout into that seed, that might give us a second, oh, and there it is right there, a second location to track as we are navigating through Dark Bramble. So I want to just take another look at this whole area. And I think I remember where the ghost matter is, so I shouldn't need my scout for this. That way is dangerous, but I think if we take this jump to the left, we should be fine. We're, we're on the lookout for... Shit, come on. What the... What, what do you want from me? I know the gravity's tough, but, like... I, I... I... I did what you wanted, I feel like. That's fine. Just gotta take two. I, th I remember having difficulty with that the first time as well. Yeah, I bet. Like, that's, uh, yes, the gravity is strong, but, like, I was able to do it. It seems like I'm getting caught on something, which is really frustrating. I don't, okay, that's, I, okay. Okay. We'll give it another shot. Three take Bartlett, that's what they always call me. Like, no issues there. That one's really easy, but for whatever reason, as soon as I have to do another jump, I don't have any momentum. Is it because of the rain? Does the rain, like, push down on me or something? Oh, no, that time it was super easy. Okay. Okay, I do not see any... I see the jellyfish, that's pretty cool. But I don't... 
Alright, well, at this point it's probably just worth checking. Because, yeah, this is where Feldspar's log is. And we, yeah, we just see more of these jellyfish. Which it is interesting, we've not seen, aside from the dead one at Feldspar's house, we've not actually seen any jellyfish on Bramble. That's interesting to me. Okay. So I'm not seeing... Any place that looks like a cool teleporty thingy. So maybe this idea was shot, but it was worth a check. Now this did waste a good amount of time, I feel like. Yeah, there's no harm in just meditating until next loop, as far as I know. Boy, I sure hope there's not a bad ending for taking too many cycles. If there is, I feel like they shouldn't have given me the meditate option. Like, yes, it is it is a useful mechanic if you ever like, oh, I truly can't accomplish anything else I want to. But giving that to me so willy-nilly definitely makes it feel like, um, yeah, if like use it at will, and if the if the I feel like the game. My assumption is there is not a bad ending for taking too for taking too many cycles. If there is, I wish the game would communicate more. Hey, if you do this too much, it might be a bad idea because I haven't gotten any indication of that aside from I have played other video games and sometimes there is some kind of time limit on these sorts of things. This game on its own, I don't think has given me any indication that I'm working on a deadline in terms of how many cycles can I use. Now, if there's a difference between like a golden ending where you get it done in 10 cycles versus just a generic ending that is beat the game at all, I would be more okay with that. But if there is a flat out bad ending for taking too many, I'm gonna be a little bit of a grumpus. All right. And then we've kind of already done my, we, we have attempted my plan for, what is that little one? Is that the probe? Or it might be interloper. That's interloper, okay. So just a small blue thing. Oh, this is pretty fast. Shit. Uh, okay, no, hang on, we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it, okay. I don't know. Anyways, we're going to explore Feldspar's house. Oh, Quantum Moon. Uh, I have I've, I've attempted a strategy once that I think I just need to work harder on to see if it'll work. And it'll take some skill. Shit, slow down, slow down, slow down. is theoretically safe, right? It has only ever led to the fish eggs or to another seed hub. So that's something to keep in mind.
Nope, 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 nope. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Take it easy, take it easy. far away this time, damn it. Okay. Um, obviously not the one in the center, because that's taking me way too close to too many fish. It uh, looks like the one on the left is slightly closer, so I'll go with that one. And if I, like, I don't, I, it's hard because there's like no walls in this place. I don't know how far the walls go. If I stray too far, will it just completely bump me out? I don't know. But I think if I skirt left, I'll just, just not be near any fish, hopefully. And plus I can do some sick parkour among the vines, because what are the fish going to do? Get through the vines? Maybe, but that'd be bad for me. So I'm manifesting that it won't happen. Alright, now I forget. Am I safe after this one, or do I have one more? I only s Oh shit, there's multiple lights. Okay, no, this is the, this is the safe one. This is the good place. That being said, the tricky thing about this is now there's not a lot else that's like notable places to look, you know? What I can do is, uh, I can do a couple things. But for now, let's just open our hatch and see what's what. Hey man. So our options. I don't think we can get. I don't think we can fit in there. Oh wait, I lost my gravity. I don't think we can fit in there. And even if we can, I don't know if it's gonna help. But I don't. It's probably not gonna kill us immediately, right? It's not a fucking fish. Let's just see what happens if we if we head up there. Okay, now I, yeah, I'd like for the gravity to be gone, just real quick. Yeah, okay. Worth a shot. Okay, so can't go inside that special seed. Although, what did we teleport? What did the scout teleport out of? I don't think it was this. Have I tried? I think I've tried this, but does it just pop back up in the same spot if I shoot another one in here? Yeah, so where is that coming from? That's, that's a direction we can explore. And we should be safe as long as we don't go towards any lights. Aside from this one. This one's fine. I do have a feeling if I stray far enough, I'll just find myself outside the planet once more. But...
Okay, no, there's walls. There's walls and shit. But that looks like an exit. That looks like... In fact, this looks like where we came from, maybe. Well, there's no vines up here, so... Ah, shit. There's one. That scared me. How do I roll again? There it is. Okay. Alright, then the other option is directly behind the fish. Could be another interesting spot to look. Because there's this cool vine that leads to where the um, jellyfish is, but then there's this inviting little hole as if to say, hey, maybe check beyond here and see what happens. So let's do that. I don't see space, and I don't see lights. So that's a positive thing. Damn it. Never mind. Put us in a sucky spot, too. Alright, those were my two grand ideas for Bramble, and that didn't lead us anywhere. So, well, let's focus on the Quantum Moon mystery for now. <sighs> so, where is it at? <laughs> Is that it? Is it heading around uh, the twins? Looks like it. No, not interloper. No, that's Timber Hearth. Never mind. Where's the where's the where's the boy at? If it's at the sixth location, stop. Giant's Deep is on the other side of the sun. Nope, there it is. That's not actually what I'm looking for. That was just a rhetorical question. No, keep that out. Undo that. No, stop. No, I don't. I don't need this unless I'm going too far away. Is that my? Is that my issue? I would like to look at the solar system from far away. How do I know you want me to get closer, but how do I stop selecting the sun? I don't want that anymore. Okay, it is because I'm too far away. That's annoying.
enough of that now, please. I can see pretty much all of them. And I don't see any planets I don't recognize. Except for maybe that one? Yes! Okay. Alright. The twins, I think, is actually going to be the trickiest one to pull this off. But I want to see if I can pull it off. Because technically, what I'm realizing is when I'm landing, the atmosphere is so foggy that it could be considered obscuring my vision. Now, the vision is being obscured by what I would consider the quantum moon, but maybe the game doesn't consider that because it's not the, the solid mass of the moon. And since I am no longer, quote unquote, looking at it, or anything for that matter, and I'm not physically touching it, it is able to teleport away in that split second. However, And the tricky thing is I don't want to fall into the sun. That's the tricky thing. But however... What we can do is we can try to get pretty close to it. to get quite, quite close to it. Okay. I would like to continue matching velocity. And then... Did it go into the sun? That's not useful for me, my man. Good to know that it does that, though. Anyways, I might have overcorrected slightly now that I'm 12 kilometers away, but that's fine. Let's try that again. I was trying to land on the planet, but I'm realizing uh, on either twin, but I missed and I'm realizing maybe that's okay. Please don't fall into the sun again. God damn it, stop doing that, man. Okay, so maybe... Maybe having it be next to the twins is not the ideal. I think actually... If I can get next to Timber Hearth, honestly, that'd be wonderful. But I don't know if that's gonna happen. Keep 
Timber Hearth in our sights. I can see interloper, interlopers heading in. But if I can at least confirm that this... Um, might end up working. That'd be nice. Damn it, it's not going to be there as soon as I stop looking. Doesn't that suck? Okay, it's over by Bramble. I don't even know if we have time to get over there, but... Oh, I swear to God, if it orbits around Dark Bramble and that breaks our line of sight, I'm going to be mad. I'm going to be mad at you. Okay, no, it's chill. It's chill. All right. We are running out of time for this cycle, but let's see if we can do something. God, Giant's Deep is creepy when you're on the direct opposite side of it. So let's try something. Okay, so that is an image of the quantum moon that I'm currently looking at. Looking right at it, you would say, seeing that image of it. So in theory, it won't want to move if I'm looking at a picture of it. Let's fucking go! Let's fucking go! Oh, it's been Bramblefied. That might explain the quantumness of it all, so that sucks. But, let's fucking go! We got it, we got it. All right, as one mystery solved, and it's actually kind of good news that there's Brambles here, because that means we might also be able to use this in the same way that I was hoping there would be a seed I could shoot my probe into on... God, that sounds so obscene. Um on Giant's Deep, there might be another one here, because we still need some way to navigate to wherever the vessel and the third escape pod showed up. We're on the lookout for more Bramble activity we can interact with, and it looks like we might have that here. Let's go! Oh, sorry. Anyways, we're about to explode. All right, and we have so much fucking other quantum moon mysteries to deal with because there's a shrine somewhere in here. Might be able to ride this moon to the sixth location, which may be where the eye of the universe is. This is a big, a big old thing. Oh, interesting. That's incredible. That's incredible. This 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 opens up a big this this cracks the mystery wide open. And by that I mean I feel like we're starting to wrap up the mystery of the game. But the next big step and one of the last big steps I think has been taken, which is amazing. I'm just curious how important the vessel could be at this point. Well, maybe it'll give us like some way to translate the coordinates we found because I don't. I, I think the coordinates we got. The implication of the um, ship log is that we can't actually figure out where those coordinates lead. For whatever reason, the Nomai translator doesn't work on numbers, I guess, uh, or at least coordinate numbers. So perhaps the vessel just will be allow us to figure out what those symbols mean as far as plugging in coordinates. I'm not sure yet. We'll see.
And it is interesting that both Escape Pod 3 and Vessel are listed as separate mysteries on the ship log, so I wonder if those are going to be in separate locations of Dark Bramble, in which case, I don't know how much information Quantum Moon is going to be able to give us on that. If any, I'm kind of, I'm making kind of an assumption here when it comes to Brambles equals... I mean, obviously, it is it is tied to Dark Bramble, having the Brambles there, but in terms of being able to find stuff on Dark Bramble, there's no guarantees yet. I am hopeful and uh, assuming. Perhaps I don't need to be. Okay, is that it over there? Yes, I see two moons around Brittle, around Brittle Hollow where there should be one. So let's... Nope, not that one. The one I'm actually pointing at, actually. There we go. And it's great to know that as long as I time my probe right, um, there's absolutely... Oh, shit. Keep it. Keep it in vision. Don't fall into it, but keep it in vision. I'm gonna... <laughs> hey, guys. We landed on uh, Quantum Moon a second time. Huge success today, guys. Like, really making great giant breakthroughs. Can't believe it. This is really one for the history books, this session. Oh boy. Really need to keep an eye on those velocities. I'm just so eager to get to a location sometimes that I'll be like, yeah, we're going, we're going. And then I'll look down at my uh, at the speedometer and be like, oh, 700 meters per second? That's probably going to get me there faster than I should be getting there. <gasps> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. First, I thought I was just gonna miss it, in which case I was like, all right, I have to time it really well to... make sure I can keep it in my eye line. And then I very quickly realized, oh, that's not actually gonna be that useful. Be nice if I could get at least two planets in my vision. So that if it spawns at either, I'll see it. No, no stay buckled in. I think it was at Brittle Hollow for that check-in with the map, but that's not useful to me. Oh, there, it's back. Okay. All right. Let's go in at a... Uh, the other thing is I was distracted by how hard, how long it took me to lock on to it. You know? So it's not entirely my fault. It's just a little bit my fault. It's mostly my fault. But yeah, I thought I would have to land it on a planet, but the fact that I can just shoot my probe directly towards it, and as long as I take a picture before it passes through, I'm good to go. There it is. Okay, cool. Slow fucking down. Slow fucking down! Alright. Now we're talking. And we should land directly at the South Pole. God damn it. You can't do this to me. God damn it. Crashed. That's a crash. <sighs> okay. Again, the game wasn't made for Switch, but I am grateful that they made a port because otherwise I wouldn't be able to play it because I don't have any other consoles. This is no specific person's fault. It is really frustrating that that's the second time it has specifically crashed when I... Actually, I'm going to get my suit on just in case. I need a quick exit. I Specifically, the game has crashed after I had done a pretty tedious thing and right before I got the cool payoff for doing the tedious thing. That That is the most... 
tedious timing for a game crash twice now. So, again, it's not ruining my experience for the game. It's not the game's fault that the Switch can't handle it. But that also does not change the fact that I am frustrated by that. And I won't apologize. I think that's I think that's a valid take on things there. Okay, it's uh, now it's on Timber Hearth, which it won't be by the time I look back. Okay, but it's on Brutal. Awesome. Okay. Fourth time's the charm. I guess first time it actually went perfectly. It was just at the end of a cycle, which I knew going into it might happen. So I guess this is more third time's the charm as far as, damn, the game just doesn't want me to go here. It's interesting that the scout cannot fit, does like physically. Oh, wait, no, now it's gone. Never mind. In fact, I bet if I tried to take another picture, it would give me static. So, my mistake. Spoke too soon. All right, to the South Pole again. Easy there. All right, I'm physically on the moon, so in theory it really should not disappear now. <laughs> Although it may move me somewhere else if I can blot out all of my vision. Sorry, not that. Oh, yeah, oh, word, I am on the quantum moon, thanks for letting me know. Hey, buddy. Looks like things didn't turn out too well for you. Is this my scout? Maybe. I thought I'd get, like, words there, but... All right, yes, yeah, so we are on the South Pole. Let's, let's take it easy. Let's just, let's just do some... some exploring. I think we've earned that. I believe this shrine needs to be... or this might not be the shrine, but something needs to be at the South Pole, I believe. Ooh, this is a location tracker. I need to get it here. What does this do? I, I'll take I'll take text. Recall the rule of quantum entanglement. Recall the rule of the sixth location. You have recalled the rule of quantum imaging. So I need to be touching it when I'm not looking. I don't specifically know what the difference between those two are. This is cool if you if you happen to land on the quantum moon first, but you you have no idea what the fuck you're doing. Now you have little hints telling you where you can find the additional information you need. I mean, M? No, this is not controlled by. Me. Not yet. It is a quite small planet I'm seeing. I'm already, this is already the equator. And I'd like to find out more information if I can. Although that looks like it leads... Ah, shit! It's stalking me. Where were the brambles? We saw brambles. I'm scared to go above the mountains because I think it'll just it might just kick me out of the moon, you know? 
So I'm going to do that. I should at the very least definitely be on my ship when I try that out. Because if I, if I get kicked out of the quantum moon while my ship is still on it, good for my ship, bad news for me. So let's see if we can't. Do a minuscule amount of trolling. Well, no, I don't want that. Yeah, that really looks like... Um, how the hell did I get to a different chunk of the planet last time, then? First time, specifically. How did I crash land? somewhere that's not here. All right, well, anyways. Let's double check specifically what we're looking for here. Yeah, holy shit. Yeah, holy shit. I was able to land on the surface of the quantum moon. I found a dead Nomai in a spacesuit near the South Pole. Nomai shrine that wanders uh, about the quantum moon. Quantum entanglement and six location. The shrine must be on the moon's North Pole. So there's got to be a way to get to the North Pole and bring the shrine with me. So that's the rule of the sixth location, is get it to the North Pole, and then Quantum Entanglement, I think, is just touch the thing. What the fuck? What do you want? Oh, the, the tower probably tried to throw my ship out of the way, the fucker. Okay, let's try to find our way to the North Pole, then. Although I suppose one way to teleport the tower around would be to quantum entangle myself with the tower itself, huh? Excuse me. So, let's try... Close the door. And let's try lights out. Okay, I can see looking at the map, that didn't work. But, that is, this, this, once I get inside the shrine, I can do that. Oh, shit. Brambles. 